What's up beautiful people? It is the last day of our Algarve trip and we are just down in in Carvuero town centre. Hannah's just run off to see if she can grab some last minute magnets that we can give as holiday presents to people. And today we're going to be driving back to Faro, hopefully having a little bit of time to explore the town. Got some lovely tacky magnets as little gifts. Oh yeah, grandma's going to love it. I know, my parents collect these magnets, so they'll be really pleased as well. Well, we've arrived in Faro. I'm hungry. What's the first thing we're doing? Eating pastel, pastel de natta. Mm -mm. <laughs> These might be our last pastel de natas. Oh, oh. Mm. Mm. What have been your top three things or places in the Algarve? Nata. Nata. <laughs> nata, Nata. No, the nata. coastline is really, really stunning. And it's so different at like every little beach. I love the caves as well. I guess that can be the coastline. I love the sunsets. They were just amazing. And just the colour of the water. So beautiful as well. Oh, sorry. The My water turn. and swimming and it being warm enough to swim. And I also loved... Warm? It was pretty chilly, I thought. I didn't think it was that bad. And then, oh, that's a pretty building. And I like the buildings and the tiles as well. Yeah. And also the people have been really, really lovely. So, what else did I say before? Stumbled across like a markety fair type thing. Don't know whether it's just because we're here on a Sunday, but it feels it feels bigger than just like a Sunday thing. So maybe we've just hit it at the perfect time. Everything's so loud. Expectations of Faro were something like this. But so far, the reality has been... <laughs> Faro is pretty much the gateway to this whole region, all of the Algarve. It's also the capital of the Algarve and has the big international airport that services it and it definitely feels very different to pretty much anywhere else we've been on the trip i guess that's because it's it feels like more of a big city kind of vibe it's certainly got like a load of nice old buildings and beautiful architecture but it also does just feel that little bit more busy i think its population is around 60,000 or something but it's nice just to have a little walk around This is Faro Airport, literally just the other side of this fence here. And then all of this land is wetland. This area is called Ria Formosa. And as you can see, just vast wetlands. I mean, there's a road coming through them. But apparently it doesn't deter the bird life from coming here. And the existence of these wetlands is actually probably the reason why Faro has been settled in the first place. People have been coming here since 4th century BC. No, I think that was when it was first settled around here, was 4th oh, century BC. But people have been coming here Humans since... Humans have been arriving since... The Paleolithic era. Yeah, so like prehistory. some fun by the board. board just finished the boardwalk Yay! literally right <laughs> literally right next to the road and you can see 
right in the distance over here. Let's see if we can show you better. This over here is far in the distance. Then all over on this side, got like almost like a beachy area. Bye little Fiat Panda. Hi, that did us well. I know, I love that little car. I just had the best time. I feel like we really saw like so much of everything. Like we drove all the way to Lagos and then we saw like the caves and stuff around there. But we also saw like the mountains and the different beaches and like the cave formations. And I feel like there was just a bit of everything. And the sunsets. The sunsets. They were. Oh, so many good sunset pics. I'm going to have to make a little like kind of a compilation of all I of them. I think we should do um, Portugal or the Algarve by drone. You've got some really cool drone shots. As got well. some epic drone shots. And everything was really reasonably priced as well, I think. Yeah. Dinner most nights with. We had wine, dinner a lot with what? About 40 euros or something like that. The last matters. Home. We really hope you've enjoyed this series, enjoyed this video. Please leave it a like if you have. Leave a comment down below and consider subscribing for more. Ding. Thank you so much for watching. Big love. And it feels good around here. You have to dig away. You're a growing lad. <laughs> <laughs>